over to Chris for a moment. Uh, he's not to steal any of his thunder, um, but uh, this is, uh, I think what he's going to talk about is uh, the zoo. Yeah, so I know it's hard to get everybody in the same room because of everyone's busy schedules and Blake and Peter, Peter duking it out so you can't do up any moments. But while we're up here, I just wanted to let you all know that towards mid to late March, I'm going to be transitioning out of my role with Morgan Stanley and onto another company. Uh, usually I'm pretty good at presentations, but with this, I'm going to stick to a script a little bit because the emotional things get me. Uh, but when I began as, a, as an intern like a year and a half ago, and even full time about nine months ago, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I didn't know if financial services or wealth management was gonna be my career. Uh, but what I did know when I took on that role was that this is a group that's gonna challenge you to work on your weaknesses and on your strengths. And thankfully, that, I found that to be true. And Dave showed me that as well. Um, a little anecdote on the first day, or coming into the first day, I could not talk on the phone in front of other people even my family or friends, I'd have to step out of the room to make a phone call to order pizza or Chinese food. Um, then first day I'm stuck in a room with people I don't know and had was given a book, I'm sure it was a bad one, and was told to dial away. And um, so it came over that, it was like a trial by fire, kind of jumping off a ledge and didn't really know what to expect. And now I'm taking on another opportunity to do kind of the same thing, jumping off the ledge, uh, kind of trial by fire, not sure what to expect, but. I wanted to, to uh, take advantage of this opportunity to align some personal passions with um, you know, a, a potential career path. So I'm gonna be, uh, for now, taking on a role with a uh, restaurant and bar management company while I study for a couple certifications that will uh, help me, uh, set me up for the future here. Uh, but uh, this talk and this uh, videotape isn't <laughs> about uh, kind of what I'm doing and what I'll be headed to, but more about what I learned from here. And I just wanna emphasize enough uh, just the tools and the resources that you have here to take advantage of, especially someone like Michael or Stephanie who are fairly new. Um, like Dave said, it's about finding which animal you are in the zoo, um, and I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. I'm sure we all are. We're all pretty young, but I, mean, I, I still am too. Yeah, <laughs> as, as we've discussed as well. But Dave and I both like to get out of the cage at night and look around uh, to try to see what animal we are. Um, so I don't want any of you to get caught up in the day-to-day -day activities and lose sight of the big picture of the skills that you're picking up here. Um, because once you start looking around at uh, or, or transitioning, you start to realize just how transferable some of these skills are, the tangible and intangible. Uh, so don't lose sight of that and take that with you, as well as don't lose sight of uh, just how helpful everyone is. This team's special. Uh, you start to work at a lot of places, and you'll hear all the doors are always open. There's no such thing as a dumb question. But uh, this place actually practices what they preach. So I want to give a special thanks as well to uh, Sean and Dave. I knew that the open door policy uh, was always true, uh, but the fact that they were so willing to go to war for me uh, in transitioning out, uh, that spoke volumes to this team. So don't lose sight of that and keep that in mind. Take advantage of the opportunity to uh, learn, but to connect and grow as well. Um, yeah, and so I've only been here for about a year and a half uh, at this point. Sorry, I'm going off some of the bullet points, but about a year and a half, which isn't a, a terribly long time, but I've made pretty much my closest friends in the city at this point, a lot of them, uh, such as Katie or Kelsey and, and Ryan and Liz, uh, even Chuck, uh, Blake and Peter, <laughs> Michael, I'd like to think we're getting there, it's Julie sometimes. <laughs> um, so I, 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 I hold you all uh, so incredibly close. I mean, this isn't, I'm not from around here, I'm from the East Coast, um, but you guys are the family that I have. For better or for worse, I'm stuck seeing you every day. Uh, so <laughs> close. And I want to keep holding you guys close. So I'll still be in the city. I re-signed my lease, so I'm stuck here for a year no matter what. And uh, I just want to, you know, we're gonna we're gonna stay in touch. And finally a huge thank you uh, to Dave and all the other advisors to offer your unwavering support. Uh, I like to think that you know already that I appreciate you, Dave, but just in case, I appreciate you and all of you guys as well. Yeah. And so I'll be in the city. I'll be sending out an email following this, so I have my cell phone number, and for those of you who don't have it, um, never hesitate to reach out to me. You can ask me questions here. We can meet up for lunch or dinner or drinks outside of work. I, I love spending my money on those types of things, so <laughs> I'll always be willing. Uh, but really, don't lose sight of what you're doing here, and, and I'm really looking forward to watching this team grow. I know that there's, uh, we're just going to keep expanding, as I've already seen in a year and a half, and I'm excited to see it you know, happen as well. So stay in touch, please. I don't just mean that any of you can text me, even Blake. 
and um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's staying connected. But yeah, thank you for each of you who helped me so much my time here. Uh, so thank you again. Yeah. Also, before I continue on, I know that they have to leave soon, but I've uh, recently regained control of my Instagram, uh, so I was hoping to get a group photo. There we go. Aww. We will do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And, and, and uh, I, I, want, I want to say, just, uh, just to follow up on the heels of that, that um, I am super proud of Chris. Um, when, when the Compass story kind of started, uh, the notion was to try to make the center of gravity of the, the group um, your development. Not, you know, well, what can you do for the partners, but, you know, your development. And, and so um, part of uh, what I say to anybody who comes to work here is, um, you know, hopefully you'll come here and find out what kind of animal you are in the zoo, whether you're a zebra or a lion or, or a, a panther. Or, uh, and uh, and, and to challenge yourself and to follow a line and, and to give yourself to it fully and to see where it takes you um, is, is a difficult and courageous thing. It requires determination and will and skill and, and heart. Um, and uh, Chris, like everyone else, and like me too, is, is still in the process of figuring out you know, wh where he fits in all that. And so he has tremendously succeeded uh, in his time here, because he's ruled out, you know, some things, and which rule in other things. And along the way, he's learned some, I think, some real significant uh, skills and strengths and uh, powers, you know, that he has in his toolbox now as he as he goes forward. Um, but if somebody, you know, said to me, uh, well, you know, David, Chris is transitioning out, and you know, what what happened, or what's the issue? Um, I, I can say this: that uh, my answer is that. Uh, Chris succeeded at his time here, and if I if I even tried hard, and you know me, I can I can find small things to I can find small things to, to critique. Uh, I can't find anything that I would uh, that I would suggest uh, to Chris. He's he's applied himself in every way uh, in every way possible during his time here. There isn't anything that, that I would say that he's weakened. So um, we really have enjoyed. Uh, the blessing of your time here with us. And, and as a parting gift, I told uh, Chris that, um, that I insist that he become the head of the, Colum the Compass Alumni Association. Because <laughs> 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 we're starting to have enough, uh, enough people to do that with. So I, I think he's going to try to embrace that and see where it goes. <laughs> That's your born leader, so I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you. All right, you can cut that. If that was a uh, video. Can we get a three count? DJ, 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 play it for me. Yo, it's Shay Mix. I'ma need everybody to come to the dance floor right now. Cause there's a hot DJ on set. DJ, so, DJ, play, play it for me. I'm